Okay, before I move on to the next thing, um, I forgot to show we can close the connect and open it back up in IR mode. And in that case, instead of seeing the RGB image here, we're seeing the actual dot pattern. You can see the little dots that it's projecting. We're just looking, this is the raw infrared view from the camera. Mm -hmm. So one great thing about the Kinect is you can use it as a plain old infrared camera. You don't have to use the depth map at all. You can just treat it as an infrared camera. And if you have an infrared illuminator, it can work pretty well as an infrared camera. You usually have one laying around. Oh, you do. <laughs> Isn't that what it says? Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no. That's, a, that's no. just a retroreflective Dang. dot. It works, though. Um, OK. Um, so I'm going to close the Kinect. And we'll move on to the second thing, which is normalization. So normalization is just sort of taking that grayscale image from the Kinect and, uh, and doing a little processing on it. So this P normalizes a subpatch where I'm looking at the maximum. So JIT.3M will tell me what the minimum, mean, and maximum value is. So we'll look at the maximum. This will give you the, the value of the brightest pixel in the scene. And um, that equates to being essentially what is the closest thing in the scene that the Kinect can see. Uh, and then we'll look at everything surrounding that closest thing, everything that's a little bit closer and a little bit farther away from that thing. From that thing. And um, in that case, we can set what that range is. And if I make the range really narrow, then it's only going to look at stuff that's right around the closest thing, which is, in this case, your hands. Um, I think the flicker is just like this uh, occasionally. Ooh, wow. Well. So, all right, so that's normalization and it's adaptive. So it's always looking at whatever the brightest thing is and then it's looking at everything surrounding that brightest thing. So that's P normalized. This is something I built. It doesn't come with, you know, Max. It's, I, I built it all with Max stuff, but uh, it's just a way to process that depth map image from, uh, <laughs> from the connect. It's just like this. Well, we just did the blob tracking demos. You can immediately see like how you could, oh. you know, track oh, your hands or something so. like that. That would, I mean, this is blob trackable right away. So pretty cool. All right, 